A pin is drilled to the lateral surface of the femur, being careful not to deviate too anteriorly into the articular surface of the trochlea. The pin in the femur is overdrilled with an acorn reamer bit to a distance of 30 to 35 millimeters. The remaining tunnel length is overdrilled with the 4.5 millimeter drill bit to accommodate the passage of the toggle lock device. The graft is delivered into the closed end femoral tunnel using the beath pin. The toggle lock device is passed and then flipped on the lateral femoral cortex. The zip strand of the toggle lock device is then pulled to introduce the looped end of the graft into the tunnel. The graft can be marked with a marking pen at 25, 30, and 35 millimeters away from the butt end to help track the amount of graft that has been introduced into the femoral tunnel. A guide pin is drilled to the lateral surface of the patella, being careful not to deviate too anteriorly into the non-articular surface of the patella or posteriorly into the patellar articulating facets. The pin in the patella is overdrilled with an acorn reamer of the diameter corresponding to the diameter of the graft prepared and sized earlier to a distance of 15 to 25 millimeters. The remaining tunnel length is overdrilled with the 4.5 millimeter drill bit to accommodate the passage of the toggle lock device. The graft is passed from the medial femoral incision to the anterior medial patellar incision underneath layer 2. The graft limbs are remeasured from the point of insertion into the medial patellar tunnel and trialed with varying amounts of MPFL length. New sutures are placed in the two free limbs for a distance that matches the length of the acorn-reamed patellar tunnel, and the remaining excess graft and initial tension stitches are cut away. The two stitches from the free limbs are tied to a second toggle lock device via the zip loop suture looped ends. The toggle lock device is passed and then flipped on the lateral patellar cortex. The zip strands of the toggle lock device are then pulled upon to introduce the free limbs of graft into the tunnel.